Since 1991, most newly convicted blacks are incarcerated for nonviolent, low-level drug offenses. Most black folks are not locked up for violent crimes like rape and murder. Most black folks are locked up every year. New convictions are locked up for nonviolent, low-level drug crimes. Now, what is staggering about this? What is disturbing about this is that most drug users are white. I mean, overwhelmingly, most drug users are white. Most drug dealers are white. White middle-class youth, specifically, white middle-class youth use drugs at significantly, use certain categories of drugs at significantly higher rates than blacks. Uh, white middle-class use, youth use, uh, white middle-class youth use crack, LSD, heroin, cocaine, meth, at seven to eight times the rate of black folks. Black folks. Yet it is black people, black people that are hyper-policed in the so-called war on drugs. It is black people that are filling the prisons. It is black people that are associated with drugs like crack, for example. Most crack users are white. And like I said, white middle-class youth use crack at, at higher rates. But uh, there's an association with black people in general, association with black folks and violence and crime and drug crimes. The stereotypical drug, drug dealer is a young black male. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons why black women are disproportionately incarcerated. Poverty has something to do with it. Joblessness, uh, inferior uh, education linked to poverty. Uh, but white supremacist beliefs, gendered white supremacist beliefs about black women also have something to do with it. If you believe, if we believe that a group of people, that a mass of people are bad, then it does not give us pause. We do not question why uh, certain groups appear in, in, uh, in the prison population in greater numbers.